Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? I wanna say thank you. I just hit 10,000 subscribers last night, and this is day 28 of me living out of my car, dashing in Southern California. It's about uh, 9.30 or something in the morning right now. Eh, maybe about nine o'clock in the morning right now. And getting everything set up back into the car. This is gonna be the last day out here in San Diego for me to deliver. And since I hit 10,000 subscribers, I think today we should make 10,000 pennies. So we're gonna do a half day today. I'm not gonna take it very seriously. We're only gonna make a hundred bucks and then I'm gonna, you know, kind of sightsee, eat some food, go get some tacos at some place because I think that's what I want today is some kind of taco place that I'm gonna find, whether it be one of those taco stands on the side of the street or just some nice restaurant that's got some good tacos, burritos, Mexican food, eatery or whatever it is. If you guys are brand new here, what's going on? My name is Richard with Sin City Deliveries and on this channel, I've been covering Top Dasher, Large Order Program, all of the incentive programs, red card, pizza program, everything that makes us DoorDash drivers a lot more money out there on the road in an easier fashion I'm signed up for or I've been invited to and the new Dasher Rewards is coming soon also December 5th if it doesn't get released in Las Vegas then I will be shooting back out here into Los Angeles to test those rewards out and see exactly how well they are or how well they are not before we start today's shift I think it'd be fitting to uh, stare at the beach right here watch the waves oh such a nice thing to watch in the morning time and wake up to very beautiful out here Definitely coming back out to San Diego, 100%, no exceptions, it's going to happen again. Let's go make 10,000 pennies real quick for the 10K subscribers that I just got. Thank you, everybody. Let's go. If you guys like fruit smoothies or like juice smoothies, check these out, Evolution. These are super good. There's all different flavors and different like combinations right here. This one's orange, mango, apple, pineapple, and whatever that is. I don't even know what it is, but these things are so good. And they sell them at Sprouts right here. This is where I'm gonna start out this morning. I'm gonna start out at Sprouts. It's Sunday. I think people are gonna go shopping. That's my uh, idea. And this zone usually pops off with sprouts. I've been to this one so many times and I'm gonna test my, press my luck over here this morning and see how it goes. So let's get some money. Nice, sitting right here next to the sprouts. I got this Primos Mexican food, like sprouts right there. <laughs> Not bad, this one's a 10.25 and just run it, I think it's like 1.6 miles, not bad. It's kind of ironic, I was saying that I wanted Mexican food. <laughs> the first thing I drop off is Mexican food. Enjoy, thank you. I've got a Vaughn Shop and Pay for $14. These are all the items that I had to grab. There's actually two more items in here that are not part of their order, and that's this egg salad sandwich and this French bread. I'm gonna dip it. I think I'm gonna eat that for like my lunch right now. I think that sounds better than uh, some like hot food or something like that. But I'm gonna go get a drink real quick, like a Gatorade, and go check this out. Get paid 14 bucks. Here we go. Thank you. Wait. You want me to set it here for you? Sure. Right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love that. Take care. Thanks. Anybody that likes egg salad sandwiches, I highly recommend you get a loaf or like, you know, a thing of French bread and rip it apart and just dip it into like you're making a sandwich, but you're not really making a sandwich. So they're just little bite sizes. Oh, I'm in Claremont right now. And I think I'm going to leave this area and go drive over to La Jolla right at the beach and try and catch some orders on the beach on the last day that I'm out here. Might as well chill over on that side where I think it's like the most beautiful. So let's go roll over to the beach real quick. So I went to the beach and that was probably not the smartest idea to do on a Sunday because the beach is completely packed to even try and drive down there. So I left there and I'm back over here in Claremont or like North Claremont right now. I'm sitting in front of a, a Target right now. So hopefully I can get some Target orders, some shopping pays. And there's a bunch of businesses in this area. I haven't really worked this area yet. So we'll see how it pops off. Like I said, trying to make that uh, 10,000 pennies today. And if we can hit that goal, awesome. I think I also wanna shoot over to Guitar Center today too. I've been doing a lot of driving back and forth, but right now it's time to go to Guitar Center and go play a little bit of guitar. And we'll finish out the day with, you know, 10,000 pennies. Well, that was fun. Now I'm hungry, so let's go get some lunch. For lunch, I'm going to Dickie's Barbecue Pit. I'm gonna make myself a pulled pork sandwich with a bunch of barbecue sauce on it. Mm -mm -mm. Pulled pork sandwich with spicy barbecue. Pour it all over the top. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And then this is just regular sweet barbecue and I think I'm gonna dip it in that mashed potatoes. Let's go. That sandwich really hit the spot, but I think it's time to uh, hit up some grocery stores right now for $29.50, say pick up 17 items for 4.1 miles. <laughs> yeah. 13 minutes to find all of the items. Not too bad. Took me a little bit to find the ding-dongs. They were uh, on the end of the aisle here, you ding-dong, duh. Now 13 minutes to shop, 25 minutes to check out. The lines here are like horrible right now. Vaughn's at the door, let's go. I think I gotta leave it away from the door just a little bit. It's one of the swing doors. I think right there should be sufficient enough. Enjoy, thank you. Right back to Vaughn's, 11.25 for five items. <laughs> well, that was easy. There's one thing I couldn't get. So they wanted Chester's hot fries also, and they only had, you know, the Cheetos hot fries, so that's all they get. Vaughn's, quick, easy drop right here. 
enjoy your buns. Thank you so much. After that delivery puts me at right at 4 p.m. here. I haven't sat at dinner in this area before, so I don't know how it's gonna treat me, but hopefully it goes good. Look at that beautiful sunset happening right now. Let's go, go to 7-Eleven here, pick up some beer. We're going to drop it off in an apartment. It's at 8.25 for 0.4 miles. It's literally like across the street. Let's get this alcohol dropped off. Gotta scan customer's ID. And yeah, that's what I got, top right of your screen. That was an easy alcohol drop off. That puts me at, what is it, 427 right now. And I got another order as soon as I left that lady's apartment to go right back to Vaughn's for like 39.75. So this is probably gonna be the last order of tonight. And then we're gonna go get that Mexican food that I was talking about earlier. So we're gonna have a nice dinner, probably get a margarita or something, I don't know what it is. And we'll go ahead and mix down the numbers and see what I made for these 28 days that I was out here. And this will exclude the Prop 22 adjustment that I will receive tomorrow and that'll be the final number. It's taken me 18 minutes to get this far into the order and I gotta get actually just one more item and that's this uh, Maker's Mark bottle right here. But you can see it's, uh, it's locked up behind a case so I gotta get an employee real quick to unlock it and there's nobody around so we figured this out real quick. We'll get our 39.25 to drop off this easy load. Nice epic view of the bay down there, that's cool. Time to get this unloaded for the customer. I do have to scan their ID so as we look at this beautiful sunset and colors that's happening, that's what I got paid for dropping off this final order out here in San Diego. And after this, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude it. That was a nice order right there. And then I spoke to the guy that I dropped off the food to because I had to scan his ID. I'm like, hey bro, do you know any good Mexican food restaurants? And he's lived out here his whole entire life. So he's like, you gotta go over to La Jolla and there's a place over there called Verde something something. So we're gonna go shoot over there. We're gonna get some Mexican food. We're gonna get a margarita, some tacos, burrito, whatever, enchiladas. I'm not sure yet, but I will figure it out once I get there and see what their menu looks like. Maybe even some nachos or something like that. I really don't know. And he was nice enough to add an additional $5 tip to that also. So he tipped in the app and gave me five bucks more for I guess just you know BSing with him for a little bit he was a nice guy so let's go get some food I got the Cadillac margarita and I'm gonna get the carne asada fries that's what I'm eating margarita time carne asada fries let's go oh looks yummy oh that was a good meal 36 37 zero dollar tip because you know 20 bucks thanks La Jolla thanks San Diego well, that was some really good Mexican food right there. I know I didn't really get like that traditional Mexican food dish, but carne asada fries and the carne asada they used was just like some fresh steak just chopped up into little pieces. All, I don't know, everything was in there. It was awesome. I'm stuffed from it. Margarita, top notch. Also, I got the Cadillac Margarita. I always like those ones with uh, Patron and Grand Marnay in there. I think it's really good. And today, I wanted to make 10,000 pennies out there for hitting 10,000 subscribers. And we made 10,875 pennies today. Yes. I'm closing this zone out with $1,300.74 and that's before the adjustment comes in. And I, you know, I was kind of lackadaisical the last week, the last two weeks of this trip because when I got to Lake Forest, I got jacked up in the sinuses and I've, I'll be honest, I'm still not recovered from it right now. I still have a little bit of a cough and whatnot and I don't feel like sick or anything, but it's just, you know, having a, a head cold or whatnot, but not like nausea at all. The amount that I made off of DoorDash in the last 28 days is $6,594.33. And that's before the California adjustment's gonna come in for tomorrow for this last week that I did out here, <clears throat> which I'm approximating to be around like 50 to $65. I think our 60 to $75 is what the adjustment's gonna be. And that's, that's pretty good. I say that's probably one of my highest paying months off of DoorDash and yeah, pretty cool. You know, when you put your brain into it and you really hustle it out there, you're going to see the extra results. And I definitely saw those results this month of November of really smashing it out there. And that brings me to December. I'm gonna go home for a week. I'm gonna take it easy, you know, just take one week off. And then I got another plan to come back out. I believe here to San Diego and I wanna test these zones again. I really want to figure out how they work and where I should be at what time to really capitalize on the best amount of money flow or order opportunity that exists out here because it's very, I think the potential is super high out here and I don't even think I barely scratched this. I barely scratched the surface with my one week of being a complete noob out here, not knowing where I should be. So if you guys are locals and you guys know how the San Diego market works and you're willing to be <laughs> nice, send me an email, it's in my about me information. Let me know how these zones work. Hook a brother up with how the secrets of what you local dashers know, and I'll try not to share them too hard on YouTube and let everybody else know where they should go in San Diego. Just one thing I also wanna put out there 
is guys, don't live in the, the place of fear, lack, insecurity, because if you think that way, that's what you will bring into your life, right? And I think I'm gonna close it out right now. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beach. It's like 7.30, maybe almost eight o'clock right now. And I really do appreciate every single one of you that have subscribed to the channel. 10K subscribers, let's go. 25K is the next goal here. And every single brand new subscriber that's come, Thank you guys very much for being a brand new member to the channel and all of you that have hit the join button below and are actually a physical member of this channel and supporting me in that way. You guys are freaking legends. I appreciate every single one of you regardless of what you guys do out there. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.